If you have a periodic function, you can compute Fourier coefficients a n and b n. And with these coefficients, we can compute a Fourier series. And if the series converges, it converges to some periodic function f hat of x. But is this new function f hat of x equal to our original f of x? And under which conditions? That is what you will see in this video. So what do we have? We have some function given f of x which is periodic with periods 2l. Then we are going to compute the Fourier coefficients a, n, and b, n. You already see that you can, uh, cannot do this for any of f x. You have to be able to compute these integrals over there. So if you have functions which blow up hugely, you cannot compute these integrals. You cannot find Fourier coefficients. So you definitely need to be able to compute these integrals. So you see, we will need some conditions. But suppose, okay, we can compute those co co coefficients a n and b n. Now, uh, what do we do then? Then we can form a series uh, over here, a n over 2, and we have the a n and the b n, so we can form a series. And uh, this is a series with, with a, uh, uh, a number x in it. If this series converges, so that depends on the a n and b n, but if this series converges, then it defines a function f hat of x, which is periodic of periods 2l. So you need to be able to compute the a n, and then your resulting series needs to converge. Okay, you can check that, all of that, of course. Uh, and then it's the question, is this series, uh, function we found here, this f hat, is that equal to the function we started with, f of x, and under which conditions? Actually, the answer is really nice, and mostly yes. For that, we need the notion of piecewise continuity. Well, a function g of x is piecewise continuous if it's continuous apart from a finite number of finite jumps. So what do we mean? So what you can have is some jump over here, so some finite jump to another point, or limits have to exist, so that is okay, then you're still piecewise continuous, and what you can't have is something like this, something uh, blowing up to infinity. Piecewise continuous function, continuous, can have a few jumps, but only uh, 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 finite jumps in the, in the sense that the limits still need to exist. Then your function is piecewise continuous. And in that case, we have a really nice theorem. So if both f and f prime are piecewise continuous for x between minus l and l, and if this f is periodic, it's period to l, all of that is something you can check easily then your f hat is indeed equal to your f, so then your Fourier series indeed converges to your original function at the point where you're continuous, and at the point where you are jumping, you sort of have to choose, of course, what does your f hat do? Well, on the point where you jump, your uh, uh, f hat converges to the uh, average of your original f. So that is a really nice theorem, theorem of Fourier, which tells us that a very broad, class of functions has indeed a Fourier series.